Okay, let me give you a little bit of a rundown of where I'm at right now. Okay, so. First of all, this is the template cutout. It might change a little bit, but this is where the, one of the doors is gonna be, right here, okay? This is the kitchen, right here, all right? And on the inside, that's the dividing wall for what's gonna happen in the front. So there'll be two separate compartments here. I have done some holes. I drilled here. Oh, I'm seeing the red light here. So you see here, I've drilled some holes and that's to run the wiring from the front nose box. Okay, so now I'm just doing a dry fit. So I still have to map out the door size and everything on this. So I'm just gonna dry mount this back piece. And then I can get a true measurement of the back door. So what we want to do is we want to have a gate that's going to open to the right. Or the left. I don't know yet. So I did a good job. Just did it. Give myself six inches from here to here where the door is going to be because I got the LED lights that are going to be mounted right here like that. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that I did is I went and got some two by two brackets. They're galvanized brackets. What they're gonna do is, is they're gonna give a lot of strength. And what I've done is I've put them on the two by twos in certain locations. That way the trailer won't flex or move. It's gonna keep it square, strong, and uh, rigid. So it's a little investment. They're 350 each at Home Depot, Canadian. And uh, it's just going to make the trailer a lot stronger and a lot more sturdy. Hi everyone, good morning. Cappy here, 410 Expedition. So this is day... Is it day one? <laughs> so we did day one and day two uh, last weekend. I've been working every night this week, so this will probably be day five of the trailer build. So Pierre and Bruce are here today to help out. We're gonna get the top on today, uh, get some sanding done, some siliconing done probably. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a short day. It's a little cold today to be working, but we've got some things I need to get done because Monday is supposed to be a high of seven, and that's the day that I can get a coat of paint on the trailer. Seven Celsius. Seven degrees Celsius. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have heard me last night.
have an inch too short back here. Piece came off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll stick it back in. Mm. So glue it all in there. That one, don't look at that corner. Okay. I'm bringing mine down. That's what I like to see. Nice and flat. Oh, yeah, sunk. it was all gushing out. Yeah. Morning everyone, Cappy here, 410 Expedition. It's a lot of hard work, but it's gonna pay off in the end. What I, you see, I'm covered in dust right now, so what I've done is I've completely sanded the corners, all of my fill, to make sure that when I do the first coat of paint, uh, the first coat will reveal any other little holes uh, that will uh, appear. So, lots of progress. Here I've created my side boxes for my kitchen on this side. Here is another kind of a little box that I've created. The only thing is, I don't know yet what I'm going to be putting in here. I'm going to probably cut out some sort of a door panel. Probably put some wet stuff in there like boots or maybe the blocks for the tires. I got them on both sides. It just ties in nicely with the fender. So I'll have a, a fabricated fender here, which is gonna come down, paint it all black, and it's gonna protect all the underside of the wood here. So uh, today we're prepared to paint this battleship gray. And then we're gonna have uh, checker plating corners here, inch and a half, and it's all gonna be trimmed out in flat black all the way around. It is going to look super sharp. The side doors here that are just warming up inside the house because I want to put some flat black paint on it. It has to be at room temperature. It can't be cold. They won't stick. So the intention is the doors will be here and there'll be a fridge slide out over here. Okay. And on the other side, it's going to be uh, same door. Probably have about three shelves uh, to put in some food if I want, canned goods. Uh, whatever else I want in there, storage. Inside the doors, when they open, I'm going to have some pockets, some uh, Velcro pockets to put utensils in here, spatulas and whatnot. So that here gives me more room to put bigger pots and pans, dishes if I want. All my cups and everything will be here. And then when this opens up, uh, it'll be a full working uh, countertop kitchen. And this is at a good height also. That we can also use this as also another kind of a shelf over here the rooftop tent will be uh bolted down to the roof here and there'll be a spot where i can take my four foot plastic table and i can slide it right in here so if i need to i can release a little latch slide the table out and have it so that i'm ready to work or cook or anything that i need to do on the other side is where the tent's going to open on the, on the driver's side and uh, we'll have another station here. So inside the box, the plan is, is to have power outlets in here. So a couple of uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter plugins and maybe a couple of USB adapters in here. So it'll be a nice little center, charging center. Probably put a nice little shelf here to put uh, devices if I want. Maybe on the other side too, I'll do the same thing because technically if you're inside the annex living, you want power source on that, on that side that you're living in. Um, also there'll be an LED light strip in behind here. So this is going to light up the entire kitchen area, nice and sealed in behind. Okay. It's coming along. First coat of paint goes on today. Hopefully it's going to warm up a little bit. I can open the garage door, get some sun in here because I face south and, uh, yeah. Okay. 